Guess who's back? Come, come on. Oh, say hi to everybody. Come, come, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, yes. Come, up, 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 up. Oh, so good. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Computer War Tennis Shoes. The Computer War Tennis Shoes is a 1995 Disney television release. It is directed by Peyton Reed, cinematography by Rusty Olsobrook, editing by Jeff Gorson, music by Philip Giffen, and it's written by Joseph L. McAviti and Ryan Rowe. Peyton Reed is best known for Ant-Man 1 and 2, Yes Man, and Bring It On. Russ, Jeff, Philip, and Joseph I've all covered in previous videos that are listed in the link in the description. Ryan Rowe is best known for Charlie's Angels, I'm on Fire, Evil Alien Conquerors, and Spaghetti vs. Noodle. The film stars Kirk Cameron, Larry Miller, and Trumco, Andrew Woodworth, Jeff Maynard, and Matthew McCurley. Kirk Cameron plays Dexter Riley and is best known for Growing Pains, Saving Christmas, Fireproof, and Like Father, Like Son. Larry Miller plays Dean Valentine and he's best known for 10 Things I Hate About You, Pretty Woman, The Nutty Professor, and Get Smart. He also has a long line of work in Disney films such as Princess Diaries 1 and 2 and Max Keeble's Big Move. And Trump co plays Sarah and she's best known for Saved by the Bell, The College Years, The District, The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr., and The Member of the Wedding. Andrew Woodworth plays Will and is best known for Ernest Goes to Camp, After the Promise, Ghost in the Machine, and Whores, Homeowners Association, Homeowners Association Regency Supreme. Jeff Maynard plays Gozen and is best known for Ferris Bueller, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, UHF, and Madman of the People. Matthew McCurley plays Norwood and is best known for North, Ice Cream Man, Little Giants, and Spider-Man the Animated Series. Dean Jones, who is a longtime Disney regular, was in this film, which was so exciting. He does look older, but he still looks the same and his voice sounds just a little bit different, but it was so wonderful to have him back and he was kind of like an evil Dean character and it was so so fun to have him in the movie and have him back. It brought back a lot of Disney movie memories. The film was released as an ABC Family Movie Night and it is a remake of the 1969 The Computer War Tennis Shoe starring Kurt Russell. It received pretty negative reviews honestly except a lot of people praised Larry Miller's performance. It was part of this whole like four to five movie remake for television release you will see that we are going to talk about quite a few of these. I want to give a little disclaimer. If you enjoy this movie, if you have any nostalgia, connection to it, whatever, that is wonderful. I'm happy for you. I'm about to tell you how much I hate this movie. So please do not get upset. Everyone's got an opinion, okay? And I have never seen the remake of The Computer War Tennis Shoes until now as a 26 year old. So. This movie is bad. I hate it as a remake. I think it's terrible. Larry Miller is the best part. He's very, he's a great Dean Valentine. I thought he did a great job in his role. Dean Jones was also amazing because Dean Jones is Dean Jones. Kirk Cameron, I know can be an excellent actor because he did well in Growing Pains from what I remember. Granted, I haven't watched Growing Pains in a very long time. I thought he was terrible as Dexter Riley. I thought he was a terrible choice. I thought he did a terrible job. Even when he was supposed to have computer level intelligence, yes, 90s internet computer level intelligence, he still somehow, when he had a computer's intelligence in his brain, seemed to walk around like he had no idea what he was doing and that he was a complete idiot. I was not a fan of that in the slightest. Things just kept happening to him. He was not an active character in any way. The first one, the original, I am going to compare them. Of course, it's a remake. The original, I have very fond memories of. I know I complain that there was only one woman in the film because hello, there was only one woman in the film. But I have a good memory of the Computer War Tennis Shoes. I know I like that trilogy a lot and I was sad when I came to the last movie, the strongest man in the world one. And I remember liking them more and more as they went on because they just got funnier. I also like the sidekicks better in the original. This one is just, everything happens to Dexter. He doesn't do anything to try and change his situation, whatever. It's just all like, oh wow, oh wow, I have this. Oh wow, oh yeah, I'm not an idiot. I know some poetry, like whatever. And then all his friends were like, yeah, you're a big old 
brat and he's like oh uh, okay and it's just so not good and i don't remember if the original film he lost his intelligence because of a virus that does not strike any memory cord in my brain i thought he just slowly lost the intelligence or got shocked again or i don't remember but i don't remember it being a virus if it was fine ignore this part but that's the difference and i don't mind the virus being the thing that gets rid of his computer intelligence whatever that's fine but i just it was not good it wasn't a good remake in my personal opinion kirk cameron was a horrible dexter riley larry miller was a great dean all the sidekicks whatever i suppose Dean Jones was awesome, because Dean Jones is Dean Jones. I just wasn't a huge fan, you guys. Also, was Dexter blackmailed into being on the, like, knowledgeable team in the first one? I don't remember that either. It's been a long time. It was 1969 was the original, so, like, we're in the 90s now. It's been quite a few movies since then, so... Maybe I'll go rewatch the video and see what else I say about it, but I didn't cover it as in-depth as I cover them now. That's pretty much everything I have for the computer wore tennis shoes. I did not think this movie was good at all. It had some, and I mean some, pretty advanced camera movement sometimes, but barely and not enough to save this movie at all. My final rating is two computers out of ten. Our total movie count is... Parent Death Toll and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join my Patreon. I'm starting to really pump out some bonus stuff over there. And I've started a series on Patreon called Patreon Requests, where you can request me to cover any movie from any company in the way that I cover movies like this. So I had someone ask if I could cover Anastasia. So that video is up and over there. You have to be a $13 level tier or higher to be able to have a Patreon request. So just be sure to hop over there and join. Until next time, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. You are, studio, and don't be Dean Jones. No, don't be the little Viper kid. That kid, what's his name? Norwood? Don't be him. Anastasia should be up because this is... May. We are in mid-May now? Yeah. Oh, we're late May now, so Anastasia's up. Um, I only have two patrons at this time, currently above at the $13 tier or higher. So, uh, I had an Anastasia request. Anybody else? Go join. <laughs>